Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to another video. We are currently in Sapa in a homestay up in the mountains because we booked a trekking tour two days one I cannot speak. Oh my god. We booked a trekking tour two days one night and the light is so bad. Um I didn't really film while we were hiking because uh, I had to concentrate to not fall down, which I did anyways, but yeah. Yeah, right now we're at the homestay and it's so cold. I don't know how we're gonna survive tomorrow because our shoes are soaking wet and I don't think they're gonna dry till tomorrow. Okay, it's very dark now, but this is the area we're sleeping in. And this is the downstairs area. And the host's daughter has her birthday today so I'm not really sure if all the children belong to the family or if like friends are coming over I think friends are coming over which is very cute I saw the city passing by my window was in the crowd but I felt so alone my phone like every other second my future was blurry and numb a tunnel where there's no light oh but then you came and sat right next to me your eyes oh my god it is so cold but we had a good sleep but my throat is sore now it hurts so bad whenever i swallow and we're now gonna hike to another village when we're back we're probably gonna stay one night in Sapa and then I'm not 100% sure yet but I just I know that I won't be like feeling my best when I'm staying a full week up in the north because it's so cold I feel like I'm getting sick it's just not for me right now so we're probably gonna go separate ways for like 10 days and then meet again in the middle of Vietnam and that's gonna be my first time traveling alone. <laughs> we are back in Sofa and it is so cold as you probably saw from the last clip. I don't know if I'm gonna include it because I look fucking disgusting, but it was freezing cold. It is still freezing cold and we're gonna go and eat now and I just quickly wanted to show you my outfit so you know how fucking cold it is. So I'm wearing you cannot even see shit. Wait. Okay, so I'm wearing leggings because these are my only long, like, kind of warm pants. Then, on top of that, I'm wearing my jumpsuit and pen. So I'm wearing also a top. Then I'm wearing a pullover, the first one. Then I'm wearing this shirt that I'm wearing right now. And I'm also gonna wear my pullover. Oh my god, has to be that I bought from the thrift store. So um, these are all the layers I have. I also have the scarf. Um, I hope my shoes are not wet because I need to wear the shoes that I wore. Walking because the other pair I own are my Birkenstocks and I'm definitely gonna wear my Birkenstocks when it's like six degrees outside. This is the first time that I'm alone in over one and a half months. That is so crazy to think about that I've spent 
the last like 45 days 24 7 with my friends um, but yeah I'm now in Ninbin. I decided to travel alone because first of all I wanted to travel alone for a while just for me to have that experience and to see if I can do it and how I like it if I want to do it again and so on and so on and also they wanted to stay up north and it was way too cold for me um, so I decided to just go and travel for like a week, 10 days by myself and that's why I'm here alone and yeah, I'm so excited. It is very beautiful here. Anyways, I'm gonna go now into the city. I'm not even sure if you can call it a city and I'm gonna go and eat something. I was lost in space My food was amazing, I loved it and I did feel kind of lonely eating alone so um, I called my parents, I first talked to my mom and then my father called from work which was very nice just to catch up with them a little bit. Good morning, I'm gonna... Now I feel weird. I'm gonna go and rent a bicycle. I wanted to go with Grab bike, but they only have Grab taxi here, which is so annoying because I'm alone. So I'm paying for four people basically because four people fit in one taxi. And also, um, it's fucking expensive. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go on the boat too, which is also expensive. Okay, I'm now at Hangmoor Cave and I'm about to go up like 500 steps. was fucking amazing I loved it so much also go through caves which was my favorite part I loved the caves so much I don't know what it is about them it was just so much fun to go through them yeah then I went to Hang Mua cave but I didn't go into the caves I just went to uh, the viewpoint so I just went up the mountain which was so exhausting but i made it and no one really tells you that the famous part of this whole mountain like the dragon on top is like not really a place you are allowed to be it's not built for people to climb up there so i almost fell down <laughs> and died but um maybe that's just me being dramatic yeah swing about it mir heute englisch hoffentlich ist nicht zu scharf ja naja Ja. Gut, dann einen guten Hunger. Dankeschön. Ja, genau. Bis nachher. Bis nachher. Tschüss. Oh, we love awkward conversation. He knows that I'm doing YouTube and he walked into me filming myself like three times today, which um, is great. 
I made it to Vidstone Pagoda, I think it's called. And look, it's so cute. Okay, people, I have no idea where I am right now. Um, but I'm in good company. Look, do you see him? Oh my god, he's so cute. And there's an... Oh my god! <gasps> Wait, look! Okay, yeah, I'm not leaving this place. I'm gonna stay here. Anyways, I drove into the... Com Beyond. <laughs> I drove into the completely wrong direction. I don't know how I managed to do that because I'm pretty sure I took the right turn. So apparently I was not allowed to be where I was because this man on a boat came and started yelling at me. I have no idea what he said, um, but he didn't sound too happy. Look at me vlogging in the same spot as I always do, but this time, this time it's still bright outside. But I'm gonna go and eat dinner now. It's only five, but I'm so bored. I'm sitting, I was sitting at my hostel for the past five hours, so um, I decided to eat early today. So I finished dinner, it's now six something and they gave me a free banana which is much appreciated because first of all I don't have any money and second of all it's been so long since I ate fruit and also yesterday I bought a pack of three Kit Kat like the chunky ones and a pack of these of three Mentos to bring with me on the night bus so I can have something to snack on. Yeah, that didn't happen. I ate them all today and yesterday also a bit, but mainly today because I was so bored and I was cold and I was frustrated and I didn't know what to do, so I ate it. <laughs> but that's fine. That's why I bought another pack of Mentos. I made it. I'm in Hue. I don't really know what I'm gonna do today. I haven't really planned anything. I might sleep a little bit first before I do anything because I am very tired and... I still have the whole day, so I might as well sleep. But it's cold here as well. I thought the more I go into the south, the warmer it will get. It's not warm. <laughs> and that's a problem, because that means I have to walk around in the same outfit I've been wearing for like the past week now. And I don't have the opportunity to do laundry because I need my clothes. I wanted to wear this. Like these pants, this top, and and my pullover over it. But there's a hole. Okay, I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> but there's a hole on my butt, and I could just go on and ignore it because it's not that big. But I'm afraid that it will rip open more, and then I'm just gonna stand there butt naked again because of these pants. So I'm probably gonna risk it. Also, I haven't eaten all day and I don't know if I just want to wait till it's dinner time so I saved money or if I'm like or if I should eat something. Okay, I finally have an outfit. Don't ask, don't judge. It's like this weird bow situation going on here. Overall, not a good outfit but it's the best I can do right now. Fashion, what is that? I don't know it. But, um, I hope it's not gonna be cold. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm such a mess. I still have my makeup on from yesterday. I won't take it off till tonight because, yeah, I cannot be bothered. My backpack is already a mess again. My, um, cosmetic bag... Is that how you say that? I don't think so. Just fell down into the sink. And there might have been some things going into the drain because there's like nothing over it. So I don't know, I might have lost something. Uh, also, then my toothbrush fell onto the ground next to the toilet, which is... I mean, it luckily landed like not with the... 
thing that goes into my mouth on the ground but still it's like so fucking disgusting This area here is beautiful. I gotta be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Um, I didn't want to spend another 100,000 dong on the audio guide. Um, so I'm just wandering around and looking at the buildings. Yeah, but I have no idea what it really is. But I'm gonna research that later. I'm just walking around for like two hours now. So let me quickly update you guys about what I've been doing because I haven't talked at all today. So yesterday, <laughs> because I was eating three times in a row alone, I just didn't want to go and eat alone again. So I overheard a guy in my room speaking German. So <laughs> when he got up to go out, I immediately jumped up and was like, hey, I heard you speak German. You want to eat dinner with me? totally random totally awkward like in my head it totally made sense how i formed the question but because it was so spontaneously i just asked it like very weirdly i'm surprised he said yes so i went out with him and got dinner which was great because i didn't have to eat alone and um then we went outside and watched the football game a little bit because Vietnam was playing against Cambodia and everyone was out on the streets watching the game, which is re really cool. While we were watching the game, I realized that next to us was like this guy that I already had met in the Hak Hostel in Chiang Mai in Thailand. So we all formed a big group and went out and just got some drinks. Had a fun time playing card games, so yeah, and then in the bar I met... 10. He also wanted to go to the Ben and Water Park today. And yeah, I fucking loved the Ben and Water Park. It was so cool. We also met there the German guy I went out and had dinner with. So the three of us just walked for the rest of the day together. Uh, I'm gonna go and probably FaceTime with my family a little bit. And then just go out again with the same people. And yeah, it's nice to like have kind of a group again and not have to worry about eating alone and being alone basically which i mean traveling alone it's like nice to be alone sometimes but it's also nice to meet like a lot of new people and get to know them so 